Welcome back. The Gerald Desmond Bridge has been connecting Long Beach to Terminal Island since the 1960s. Two years ago, construction began on a new bridge to replace it. So what's been done so far and what's next? Engineer Al Morrow brings us up to date. Just a few feet from the Gerald Desmond Bridge that connects Long Beach to Terminal Island, an entirely new bridge is being built. A bridge so tall that when completed, will be seen from miles away. For an engineer and for me personally, this is a project of once in a lifetime. An engineer dreams of having a project with these kinds of challenges and of this kind of magnitude. Building a bridge is always an engineering challenge, but here on this land, which is full of legacy oil wells and underground utilities that date back as far as the turn of the century, the team has encountered several unknowns that have required innovative solutions. The design-build process is a project delivery method where the owner, in this case the port, puts together preliminary engineering drawings, and then the design builder, which is a team of a contractor, a builder, and a designer, they submit a proposal and actually finish the design. And so the incremental design and construction goes on throughout the whole life of the project. Work began on the bridge in 2012, and the initial construction phase has been completed. We basically cleared the area for the new bridge, which is right in this area that we're standing here. Miles of underground utilities, oil lines, over 30 oil wells had to be examined, either re-abandoned or relocated out of the way for the beautiful brand new bridge that we're gonna build right here. Currently, the more than 330 piles that will support the bridge are starting to be built. The challenge here is that all this work must take place as the port continues to move cargo. It's a very exciting time in the project right now, and unfortunately, it's all underground. And a contractor has four massive rigs out here and they are drilling shafts 150 feet or more down into the ground. Occasionally, you'll see the reinforcing steel vertically hung up in the air. You'll see massive numbers of concrete trucks that are here pouring concrete into those holes. And then on top of that pile, late this year, you'll see what's called a pile cap. It's basically a very thick concrete slab that's put on top of this array of piles. And, and then from that, the foundation of the, of the towers and the columns are built. It probably represents one of the most critical components because it supports the structure for the life of the bridge, which is 100 years. It's almost like building a bridge underground to support a bridge above ground. By the end of this year, the pile work will be close to complete and the main towers and columns will start to rise from the ground. When complete, the new bridge will be the first cable-stayed bridge for vehicle traffic in California. With its elegant design, it will become a stunning landmark for the entire region. This bridge is going to be an icon for the city of Long Beach. Picture the bridge with a deck 200 feet up in the air and towers that go up 515 feet. I think people from all over the area are actually going to travel down here to the harbor just to see it. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait till we get to see that actual bridge up in the air. For regular updates on this once in a lifetime project, Follow the story on newgdbridge.com or download the LB Bridge mobile app. That's going to do it for this edition. I hope you've enjoyed this trip through the Port of Long Beach as much as I have. If you'd like to catch any episode of the show, go to polb.com slash pulse. And don't forget to like the Port of Long Beach on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. I'm Sean Horish. Thanks for watching Pulse of the Port.